What weakens the immune system? Aside from immune system diseases, most of the causes of a weak immune system are preventable, like stress, lack of sleep, and alcohol intake. If you can maintain a healthy lifestyle, you can avoid many circumstances that weaken the immune system. Number one, stress. According to researchers, long-term chronic stress can damage the immune system. Psychologists have also observed a pattern of medical students' immunity decreasing during exam periods. Number two, lack of sleep. Severe sleep deprivation depletes white blood cells, your immune system's front lines of defense. Chronic lack of sleep diminishes the effectiveness of the flu vaccine. In the long term, people who don't sleep enough are at increased risk of developing two major immune system threats, obesity and diabetes. Number three, alcohol. Alcohol alters microbes in the gut, which support normal immune function. Chronic alcohol consumption causes bacteria to leak out of the gut where it triggers inflammation in other organs, like the liver. It also impairs immune cell function in other parts of the body, including the lungs. According to researchers, this damage is often undetected until a respiratory illness becomes more severe than in non-drinkers. Number four, substances that induce oxidative stress. Reheated cooking oils, oils heated past their smoke points, and excess sugar generate free radicals. Inhaling environmental contaminants like pollution, industrial solvents, chemical fumes, and car exhaust causes your body to generate free radicals. Large influxes of these unstable molecules from exposure to and ingestion of the aforementioned substances can cause the chronic imbalance of free radicals and antioxidants known as oxidative stress. This condition weakens the immune system and diverts molecules with antioxidant properties from their normal function. For example, leaving less vitamin C for absorption in immune system cells. Number five, excess sugar. A single system handles both sugar and vitamin C absorption. Excess sugar monopolizes the proteins that transport glucose and vitamin C for absorption in the cells leaving vital immune system nutrient vitamin C unabsorbed and excreted from your body. Fructose, a sugar found naturally in fruits, can lower vitamin D levels when consumed in the excessive amounts added to processed foods and sodas. Number six, smoking. The only group for which the National Institutes of Health recommends additional vitamin C intake is smokers. Cigarette smoke depletes vitamin C, possibly by inducing oxidative stress. Number seven, unhealthy gut. A large part of your immune system is in your gut. Certain gut bacteria influence the development of various immune system cells. Scientists are investigating the specific mechanisms by which the gut affects immunity. Number eight, diabetes. People with diabetes experience more infections and more complicated infections than those without diabetes. Diabetes weakens the immune system, lowering the activity of certain immune system cells as well as antimicrobials. Number nine, nutrient deficiencies. Vitamin C supports the immune system in more than 20 ways and chronic deficiency is a fatal condition. Low levels of vitamin D are associated with respiratory disease severity and incidence, as well as with autoimmune diseases. Without sufficient zinc and vitamins A and E, your body can't produce certain immune system cells. Without vitamin B6, forget about making antibodies. Vitamin B12 and folate, vitamin B9, are also requirements for normal immune response. Unhealthy diets that are not focused on whole, nutrient-rich foods often fall short in these vitamins and minerals, thus weaken the immune system. Number 10, obesity. Excess body fat is a major threat to the immune system, as evidenced by large studies of patient outcomes in hospital stays from a range of illnesses. 
Obese patients had higher rates of hospitalizations and death during the 2009 H1N1 outbreak and have increased mortality from flu, more infections while hospitalized from any illness, higher susceptibility to respiratory infections, and increased cancer risk. Obesity also compromises the effectiveness of vaccines. It contributes to many other causes of weak immune systems, including autoimmune diseases, oxidative stress, gut dysfunction, chronic inflammation, and nutrient deficiencies. Number 11, autoimmune diseases. Conditions like multiple sclerosis, lupus, and others are characterized by the immune system attacking itself. The drugs that treat these conditions further compromise the immune system's ability to respond to real threats. Number 12, chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation is extremely dangerous and a characteristic of many challenging diseases. In the state of chronic inflammation, your immune system responds to non-threats like they are threats. White blood cells attack healthy organs and tissues, damaging your body and wasting immune cells. Number 13, immune system diseases. While the viral infection HIV causes the acquisition of a deficient immune system, immunodeficiency can also be present at birth. Left unaddressed, these conditions are quickly fatal. Number 14, overactive immune system. An overactive immune system can react to certain foods like their poisons. This phenomenon is also known as allergies and can be triggered by otherwise harmless substances like dust and pollen. Number 15, medications that suppress immune function. Drugs treat autoimmune diseases by suppressing the immune system, which stops it from attacking itself, but also from defending you. Certain cancer treatments suppress the immune system, as do drugs administered to people who have undergone organ transplants. Number 16, illness. Temporary conditions like the flu, mono, and measles can suppress your immune system while you're ailing. Your immune system recovers when you do. So what can you do? You can support your immune system. Eat a healthy diet, be active, get enough sleep, and manage stress. A healthy diet will help you avoid the risk of nutrient deficiencies, as well as obesity and food-induced oxidative stress and inflammation. Exercise, including just a walk in the park, helps to reduce stress and contributes to healthy sleep. If you can't spend optimal time outside in the sun, vitamin D supplements can help you achieve sufficient circulating levels. Doctors offer blood tests to assess your need for supplementation. Certain medications deplete immune system supporting nutrients like vitamins B6, B12, C, and folate, as well as the mineral zinc. In these cases, supplementation may be necessary to avoid deficiency. Substances that induce free radicals are difficult to avoid. Supplementing antioxidants, like vitamin C, to mitigate the damage before it weakens the immune system could help maintain sufficient antioxidant levels and prevent oxidative stress damage.